Okay, things were getting a little bit crowded, so I had to move things around. Sorry, it's a mess. I'm trying to clean everything up. I had water and all kinds of stuff going on. But anyway, what I ended up doing, and this may help somebody, is I had one of those, um, oh, what do you call it? Uh, clothes racks. And what I did was this. Okay, I don't know if you can see this. There's two uh, TV trays. I had to put that underneath. And then there's some PVC. And then all the way up is the clothes rack. I think you can buy these at Walmart. If you notice, there is an adjustable thing right here. You can adjust up and down. So this pipe will go up and down. Hold on my phone. I'll be right back. Okay, so anyway, where was I? <laughs> oh, the phone rang. You can move this pipe up and down, but what I did, I left it high because I have Jack and the Beanstalk tomato plants. Like I said, they got kind of lanky, and um, no, I'm not going to throw them away because I like my little tomato plants, and they got really tall on me last year, and I'm just believing in them. I think they're going to be okay. But with that being said, I had to move them because they were getting so tall. Woo! Yeah, I'm going to have to tie them up or something. Okay, so anyway, so what I did was I took the bottom of it, and I put a piece of wood on the bottom, and then I took some PVC, and I kind of made a stand. And on the stand, I have, in other words, two sets of lights. Like when I step back, there's the one set there, and then I have the other for the higher plants right there, which probably could be a little lower, but... Anyway, of course, my reflecting aluminum foil, and when I flip it up, it should stay. It's, it's heavy-duty foil, so it helps it to stand up usually. Okay, and so we moved our little plants over here. It was a little bit easier to get to them. It wasn't so crowded and hurting my back trying to crouch over and, and, um, and see everything on that little... I thought those little bathroom stands would be pretty good for a, uh, and they are for little seedlings, but when they start growing, it's hard. Okay, my broccoli is coming back. Yes, it's growing some leaves. Oh, my cucumber, and my other uh, one that I topped off, I wanted to show Diane. Diane, if you're out there, this one's for you. Got a leaf coming in. I, I lopped off my tomato plant and one of them to see if that would come back, and it did. <laughs> so, praise God. So, then there's my little Brussels sprout. Um, my cacao pumpkin is getting huge. That's it. Let's see. Move this so you can see him. He's in the corner. See? He looks so happy back there, doesn't he? He's a little happy fella. It looks like we might have an early spring this year. I'm hoping so. Um, and some romaine lettuce. That's the one I hacked on pretty bad. But it's coming back pretty fast. So, praise God. Okay. Well, I just wanted to show everybody my little two-tiered invention here with a coat rack. And you, too, can make a nursery out of a coat rack. <laughs> okay. And hard at it again today. Slowly getting things back together. It's, I got to get some nails up there. Wire, uh, wires going back up. And I got some more wire, fresh wire. And the cats have already decided to use my buckets. Uh, totes as a uh, facility, so I've already had to try to get the wire on top. Again, <clears throat> this worked for me last year. If you get this, uh, I think it's like four inch, three by four inch wire. Uh, I don't nail it down. You can just pop it up, put your plants in, put it back over it. The cats can't scratch, and they stay out. Last year, I cut some holes in it for the uh, tomato plants. We're getting real big. You can do that, too. And then I just piece in the wire uh, this year that I need. If it didn't go back exactly how it came off, and I couldn't figure out. So Anyway, we're going to plant some onions today. Where well, we got our, my onions? Oh, excuse me. Now... I got some sweet bulb onions here. Last year, I made, I was a novice, a total greenhorn. This year, I'm only a semi-greenhorn <laughs> planting. And uh, 
they're, they're viable because they're green and they're hard. Last year I got some bulbs and they were all dried out. I got them too late in the season. And when I make a mistake, I try to learn from it. So I made a mental note to myself immediately when the bulbs came out to grab a bag and, uh, and plant them. So that's what I'm going to do today. Uh, plant bulbs one inch deep, four inches apart, and rows 12 inches apart. Well, I can't do that because i got a little tiny tote over there I'm going to plant them in. So I'm figuring on an average size onion. I'm going to try to get... I'm going to try to get nine in there, I think. Okay, hold on. Okay, there's the tote that I'm going to put it in. It isn't the biggest tote that they sell, but... I think I could get nine onions in there. Okay, the very last thing that I planted today, I've been busy all day today, planting and doing everything. We got some zinnia, and I've never planted flowers before, so Diane, I'm really stretching my faith here. <laughs> I know you said marigolds are good, but um, I got some little flowers for 20 cents a piece, so I got zinnia. Uh, these are just annual cut flowers, it says. And these were really weird. Canterbury bells. I never heard of these. Has anybody ever grown these? Canterbury bells. They look kind of neat. Okay, so I have like a whole lot more. Um, but I don't have any more totes. I got these little totes for 96 cents at Walmart. So we'll see. Um, by the way, I am not using Miracle Grow anymore, and I don't even want to discuss what happened, but it was bad. <laughs> Everybody was right! And I am going to see if I can grow me some flowers this year. Alright, well, the adventure continues. Y'all have a good day. Bye-bye.